Welcome back to Sulaco. Uh, last time I was a little bit worried about when the game was going to save, and I opportunistically quit as soon as I saw an autosave. Turns out I maybe didn't need to worry about that too much because um, I could manually save, I discovered, right afterwards. Uh, and so apparently you can save whenever you want to, so maybe I won't worry too much about that this time around. Um, it's a little later in the same day. I finished a little bit more work, and I'm feeling like I need a break. So... If I recall correctly, I was about to head into a new area that is probably full of enemies. Oh, but it's also full of armor. Now, is this a place I can enter? Oh, I've got I've got a shotgun. What the Where are you? Where's that guy? Okay. Okay, this is going poorly for me. Um, that went poorly for me. I am about to die. Might as well just reload and try that again. It's been a second. Oh, okay, okay. There's guys in there. Oh, oh, where, where are these guys coming from? Oh, there he is. Hi. Oh, there's, oh, there's guys up here. They come from everywhere. Holy cow. Okay. I wasn't ready for that. All right. What is a good way to fight these guys? And where are they actually coming from? I feel like it might be good for me to grab this armor. Oh, they're, they're in these downstairs rooms. So maybe I could take one of them out early. And if they're going to... Ooh, if they're going to come up here in single file... Oh crap, they're up here too. So no, not single file. I thought, I, sometimes I can't quite tell where they're coming from. Okay, somebody down here is injured. Whoa. It looks like things are vibrating. Is that intentional or like... Oh, that's a turret. Hmm. What are good things to do with turrets? Can it... Oh, nope. It can get me from up there. Okay. Just got to do enough damage to it, I guess. I'm now below 35 health, which means I'm... I mean, I'm typically below 35 health, which means I'm auto-healing, which is both bad and good, I guess. I mean, I'm definitely going through fewer consumables if I'm hovering around 35 health, but hmm, I should probably find a place to heal. Okay, now that it feels like I've gotten through the enemies, maybe now is a good time. Oh, look, there was a um, grenade in here. I was thinking that the shotgun wasn't going to necessarily help me against a lot of enemies who were coming at me from far away. But, uh, that grenade would have been helpful, so, um, maybe I sh should have grabbed it. Anyway, what am I trying to do? What am I missing in here? Oh, there's some kind of... Well, there's a couple of things. There's something in here. Oh, there's a red key card. But I can't get to it in a way I can see. All right, so something has to open that door. Is there a control somewhere that opens that door? Well, let's let's try the other spot that was marked on my map. Oh, we got some. I think the shotgun guys are now dropping ammo for me. Oh, there's something up there. Okay. Okay, how do we Okay, I've got a blue key. Oh, crap. Autosave. Wait, they... 
They just closed that door. That means I'm forced to go into what ambush? Oh, now it's opening again. Okay. Unfortunately, it looks like I, I can shoot exactly as frequently as those guys. Yeah, so when I... Whoa, wah! When I've got out, when I've got a shotgun... Whoa, the timing of my shots is roughly equivalent to the timing of their shots. So it doesn't... I don't have any kind of advantage over them. Okay. Gotta let my head regenerate. It's weird how, like... This game goes from playing like an old school shooter with, you know, health packs and everything to suddenly becoming like veteran level of Call of Duty when your health gets low enough. Then you're like hiding behind cover to recharge, but then stepping out into the fight gives you just a little bit of health. Um, sorry, I mean, stepping out into the fight threatens your health by a lot. So you can do a little bit, then you got to hide again. Uh, where was the... Oh, I hear a guy. I'm just looking around. There was a blue door someplace, but I'm also hearing people's voices. So I'm like, I'm terrified to just stare at the map. Also, I would not mind. Go away, plate. I would like to eat some things. I love that they've, like, got all this cake out here. Apparently, it's somebody's baby shower. <laughs> got interrupted by whatever is happening here. Oh, there's another cake. Oh, I'm just chowing down on the cake. All right, let's hope nobody's around. Um, so I just picked up a blue key card. Do I have a way to... Oh, here we go. I can zoom out. Oh, blue key... Okay, I see. Blue key card on the right side of the map. And actually, I think I had myself up here, didn't I? I think I'm, I'm interfering less with um, the screen when I do this. Okay, so I need to go... I need to do a lot of backtracking. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Was it this way? No, I'm misreading. Oh, wait, the banana. Oh, this is the banana room. This is the room that I saw on the, um, yeah, through the camera. Last episode. I was looking for this room for a long time. Okay, well, staring wrongly at my map uh, led me to do that, but I actually need to get... Oh, here's the, yeah, there's that door I couldn't open yet. What was the... Where is the way to get... Okay, it looked like this was the way to get back. Yeah, I'm staring right at... Oh! Oh, what? Oh, was this there before? No! Okay, this was marked on my map, but... Uh... I don't think I've been here. Is that all there is in here? I can open this door. Okay. Well, that was neat. I think I was trying... Is this the same area I was trying to get into before last session? Or... It's hard to keep track of all the secrets I've been trying to get into and failing. By the way, is that drink called Arachnicola? I, I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, I think I want to be going... Oh, oh gosh. Okay, I am now covered in purple blood. Well, there went all my extra health.
Okay, where am I relative to the door? Oh, okay. I've gone into the wrong hole. That's all right. And I still... Actually, there's still a place I could probably backtrack to to use that door code that I just got. I'm, in, in the last... Whoa, in the last episode. There's my blue door. Okay. Now, oh, so they've updated my... They've updated my objectives. Telling me about guns. All right. So nothing too exciting. But I still need to find a way to undo the lockdown. And I think it did not just save. So let's manually save. We'll just save over my last game. It's green. Why can't I? Okay. Pfft. Malfunction meter. Ooh, and a bunch of uh, a bunch of crates here. Got a bunch of armor. Oh, this is a bunch of armor too, isn't it? Anything else want to throw armor on my body? I realize I've got a lot more bullets in this gun. I should probably default to this gun. Oh, here we go. New level, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm like paranoid. Don't want to go around any corners. Oh, we got some ammo. We've got a medical kit. Oh, I just realized that I've actually got two medical kits stored up. There was a medical kit I could have used at that earlier time when my uh, health was low. Oh, here we go. This is the objective that's been eluding me for an entire episode. I guess we'll uh, push that. Whoa. Like exit unlocked. But where's the exit? Um, okay. I guess we'll just... Am I some kind of weird cyborg because I can just eat all of this food? Let's make sure all of my guns are fully loaded. I feel like something bad's going to happen. I'm hearing doors open. Okay, this is where I should save. Right here. Like, you're seeing the way that I used to play back in the day, like when I was a kid, playing games like this when they were new. Alright, so I'm here. Oh, it looks like there's an exit up near the... Okay, if I go straight... Wait, what's that? Oh no. Something's making noise. It looks like this would be a way through, except it's not. And is there a way through over here? No. All right. Let's keep figuring out where we're going. So this might lead somewhere, right? That might be taking me to an exit. It feels like I'm hearing a lot of footsteps, though, which is making me extremely nervous. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. It looks like the exit is vaguely this direction. Uh... Okay, it looks like I just went past the exit. Is the exit on a different floor from me, or... Why is that closing? Why is everything closing? Okay, I'm not happy about this. I should just bite the bullet and go down there, shouldn't I? Oh, 
Oh, I knew it. Oh, I can't see a lot of the time. Okay, hold on. Ah, healing. That guy sounds a lot like Duke Nukem, which I find hilarious. I wonder if he's meant to be the Duke Nukem of this world. And I've just defeated him. What did he... He had a bunch of... Oh, he's called a juggernaut. What is this beeping sound? Alright. Well? Was that the boss? Are we done with a level? Like... Maybe. So here I was, thinking that the game maybe didn't have levels. Maybe it was just continuous. Because... Yeah, I just didn't know. But no, this is... Um, how, that only took me 17 minutes. Crap! I feel like I've done a bad job of cutting, uh, cutting these episodes. <laughs> because I got, like, what three quarters of the way through a level in my first episode and now I'm finishing a level at the beginning of my second episode secrets 2 of 21 okay well maybe I need to replay this at some point um, upgrades none security clearances Ah, okay it's funny this is actually like making me want to play it again just to try to find more stuff now that I'm more familiar with the game, I understand it better. I feel like I might be able to do a better job of recognizing secrets and things when I find them. Well, let's go a little further. Let's also not complete a level this episode. I feel like that seems like the right way to go. Got a grenade. Yay, help. I love I love just little weird stuff like this. Oh, is it all out? It's all out of paper towels. <laughs> like, I just remember, like, Duke Nukem and games of that ilk just being completely full of silly things like that. Just pointless interactions that just, by existing, made the game feel a little bit more... Um, a little bit more alive, you know? It was back in the day before we had a lot of things like physics. Now, is there like a... Is there a way through this? Like... Um... Hmm. I don't see... I don't see anything in there that would make it easy for me to get the blue card. Unless, I mean... Oh, what? You can shoot panels? Has that always been true? How many opportunities have I missed because I didn't know you could shoot panels? Oh, that's just opened up a whole new world. I'm betting there was some opportunity in the previous level to do that. Okay. Do I have any... What are these? Oh, this is cricket ammo. Oh, I, I've got full cricket ammo? Well... Whoa, what? <laughs> Broken stairs? I'm not using the cricket enough. If I have full cricket ammo. That's absurd. Okay, we got some combat armor from a box.
Oh, really? I was that almost dead? What was my last save? Oh, good. Just when I came in here. Awesome. Um, I guess I've got four. They were so far away. I think I just assumed. That their shots would be either... Oh, whoa. Oh, maybe this... Maybe that guy was flanking me both times. And I just didn't realize it. All right. Well... There we go. It, wait, Saber 7? Is that the name of the... You gotta love bad guys who have, like, over-the-top cool names for their groups. Okay, well... I guess I'm glad I have a lot of cricket ammo. I sure am wasting it. Wait. I think I heard... Oh, gosh! Ah, uh, I got hung up on some geometry. Like, I was trying to pop out, shoot, and pop back in again. And when I tried to pop up in again, I think I hit a column or something. Okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. This is fine. Wow, these guys just surround the crap out of you. All right, well, down here... Some more ammo. That all right, all right was a noise I would make believing that I was done. <laughs> but I was not done. Okay, so let's make sure that all of our weapons are nice and loaded. Hmm. Yeah, I am kind of having trouble placing the era that this game purports to be from. Like... Because sort of the smoothness of the movement and the controls and everything makes it feel a lot like fear. But the graphics are like one step back from that. They're very sort of angular and the textures are, you know, low res. Which makes it look a little bit like almost like the Deus Ex era. Okay, so not this. This is the, where the guys came out, but not this way. Where? No, wait. No, that does look like the way I need to go. Maybe? Let's see. Okay, so over here, this is just a bunch of columns, right? The map is unclear here just because... I think the map must be marking every surface that I render. So I'm just going to go down here real quick to make sure the map gets completed. No, wait. Where, where am I? This way. There. Okay, so when I look this direction... Oh, yeah, it's just like we've got these columns that are in the way of a wall, and so they make it look like an exit. But I... Well, actually... Actually, oh! Oh, hey! I found a secret! It is a minor secret, but that's okay. There's like 20-plus secrets in each area, apparently. So some of them can be minor, and it's fine. Okay, but it looks like that... That door that those guys came through. Where was that? The back that way. It looks like that actually probably is the way I need to go. 
I mean, it makes sense. The last wave of enemies comes through a door. That door is the way out. Oh, Prime. I thought I needed to shoot that thing and it wasn't doing anything. But no, I needed to interact with it. So I can grab this, place it here, and then Prime it. Ah! Ah! Cool. That's not breakable. Wait, what? There are... I can buy things from vending machines? A med kit? How? Okay, let's, let's buy a med kit. Just because we can. Okay, Gwyn. Th thank you, Gwyn. I'll have to uh, remember you. How many times have I run past something like that and it was actually interactive? Hard to know. I'm going to save some time here because my skills are such that I expect almost any room could kill me. Okay, so that wants to be primed. Unless I can blow up the thing next to it and blow it up. Is there a purpose to that? I don't want to waste an explosive if there's a secret I can get with it. Oh, this. That wants to be opened. Okay. So I... Now what happens? What okay? What happens if I do that? Ah, that destroys the platform because this wasn't primed. It didn't get damaged, and now if I bring it towards the X, it locks into place, and then I prime it. Okay, so this isn't like a general use tool. Assault rifle ammo. Does that is that for is that for this gun? Am I just full up on this gun? I think it is. And there's the data pad. And there's an open door full of more of these things. Okay. Well, where else can I use them? Oh, oh, do we just open a door over here? Guess so. Now, can I jump while I'm carrying these things? Come here. Yeah, at first I was a little disappointed that like these weren't general use tools where I could just like blow up whatever I wanted to, but now that I'm actually using them. Okay, can I can I pick this up while I'm up here? I'm too far away, I think, to grab it. Do I have to Okay. Am I standing on something that can be elevated because it looks like I can't I can't lift this thing above the level that it's at so I might need to maybe I need both of them so let's grab them both put them over here Th this looks like some kind of special oh wait does this platform slide maybe Or does a bridge extend? Okay, so I, I don't know if I actually want these guys here. Because this, it could be that I need to extend a bridge. Maybe this elevates, or maybe something goes across? Are there any other controls up in this room? What's that? Okay, that thing rose. What is that? What did that get me? Mm. Not sure. I mean... Now, can I... Can I jump with these? Yeah, I can't jump while I'm holding one. I have to say, like, if I could jump, maybe I'm supposed to, like, ride this thing up and then jump across, but no. It really feels like I'm supposed to cross this somehow. But maybe, you know what? Maybe there's 
Okay, let me I'll push the button again. Can I get to that thing before it goes up? Yes. And then what can I do from here? Jump to that and jump to that. Except oh, there's a oh wait, there's a little hole over there. <laughs> can I get through that? Might not matter if I can't get to it. Can I pick up anything that will help? I don't think so. Maybe there's something I can shoot through over there. I wasn't even paying attention to that question. Now that I've learned that I can shoot panels... Hi, I'm trying to... Okay, there. That's what it looks like when you're trying to jump up something and it's not working. Uh, is there something in here that I can shoot? They did give me a bunch of assault rifle ammo, which makes me think maybe they want me shooting things. But this cable feels like it's telling me I can climb up on this. So maybe I just did a bad job the first time. I did just do a bad job the first time. I can climb through here. Okay. Okay. So I'm not sure what those explosives are for. Barrel loader. <laughs> Roof sign. Okay, maybe I'll end up going back into that room and loading those barrels in a minute. Okay, these guys go up. And then this one. Does that mean I'm meant to jump across here? Uh, it looks like I probably am. Before I do that, let's see, can I open this? You know, it's in here. Ah! way back into here. That makes sense. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to do that jumpy thing again. Alright, so speaking of doing a jumpy thing Alright. Okay, so this wants to be blown through. Extending what? Oh, that's a ladder. Okay, so now I can get up here without that magic trick. And now use elevator. Okay, so now I can load. Theoretically, I can use this to load the barrels up here. But how do I get them this far? Oh, wait, because I opened these doors. Oh, I, can, I bet I can just walk them in. Yeah. Oh, I can just walk them in now. I didn't need to bring them all the way over here. This thing, though. Okay, how does this stuff connect? There is some way for me to get a barrel over to this. But I haven't discovered it yet. So I'm going to bring one barrel over all the way over here. But there's some kind of... I don't know if it's going to be a secret or if it's going to be part of the main progression. I'm going to want to get that other barrel onto that other thingy. So let's... Okay. So that's there. Climb up the ladder. We'll lower the elevator. We'll get on the elevator and we'll pick this guy up. Yeah. All right. So now, wait, this is where I'm taking it. Where am I taking it? I'm taking it over here. I love the little squash and stretch that it does. Okay, it looks like... So is this whole area just a puzzle area? We had that big fight at the beginning. Okay, there's the bridge. All right, so. Okay, they just saved. Oh, gosh, what? Stop, stop it. That went poorly. Oh, where was that shot coming from? Okay, when was my last save? I think it was when I... 
Oh! Oh, okay. They decided to lead with the grenade maneuver. Excellent. Oh, what are, where did you come from? Dang it! I was crouched down to try to use the cover and um, could not run away from the grenade fast enough under those conditions. Ow, getting hung up on the luggage. <laughs> I'm doing so badly. All right, all right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not gonna bother with... Oh, hey, why am I not using my health kits? Or this armor? How do you melee people? Ah, where is my... Somehow I managed to turn my head about like a hundred degrees further than I intended to just there. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> Let's just watch me die again and again and again. Okay, so we're loading up here, and... Yay, one of them actually died. Where is this other guy? Oh crap, there he is. Okay, okay. Are we... Are we good? Are we good? We did it! We did it! Yes! Um, let me just look around. I never even bothered to grab the armor. Oh, and we got some crates here with some, like, money and grenades. I guess I'll switch to the gun that I have a lot of bullets for. And then pick up a few more. It's weird you have to reload your gun to fill your pockets. Okay, so where was it that I... Oh, right. Okay, so... Oh, crap! Okay, yeah. So this is main progression. This is not secret. This is... We're healing. Quit attacking me. Hearing smashy sounds like people are coming in through the ceiling or something. Okay. It's good that somebody else planned out my route and, like, marked all the places I should blow things up. Okay, I think I got all the armor. Rooftop axis. Oh, wait. Wait, this guy's got, like... He's a sprite? Are they all sprites? Have they been sprites this whole time? Oh, they probably are. That's crazy. Um, okay. I'm going to save. Just because this is a nice, comfortable place. The whole texture of this episode is different now that I know how to save. So is it, let's just look around real quick. 
Oh, is this where I started? Oh, yeah. This is where I started. Okay, cool. Well. We're in the guts of the building now. Uh, whenever I hear one of those breaking sounds, it just... Oh, hi. Okay. I guess I kick that door open. Oh, this just looks like a giant fight, doesn't it? Orange wing. Oh, no. I thought that... Ah, oh, dang it. What was that? Oh, gosh. Heal up again. Who sh Oh, I love that it tells me the direction that shots are coming from that don't hit me. That's actually really nice. Those little yellow markers. Oh, gosh. Oh, what the? Oh. Am I missing a finger? Am I an assassin? I think I might be an assassin. You know what? I'd kind of rather my save be here. I'm expecting to die again. Okay. I think the cricket might be better for this, actually. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so now that I've killed those guys... Bunch of human soldiers are going to show up. Human ish. Oh, crap. Humanoid soldiers. I feel like that is what I should call them. The bright neon blood makes me <laughs> feel like maybe my I'm intended to not read them as being fully human. Though, I don't know. Am I maybe, you know, being a little bit problematic by trying to, trying to gatekeep who's human and who isn't? Okay, we're here in factory maintenance. Enemy landmines are bulletproof and cannot be destroyed by conventional means. Look for a different way to trick or disable a mine. That's what throwing objects is for. Probably, among other things. Um. Oh. Credits. Wait, is it? This looks like something. Is that something? No? What are you? Oh, you're a mine. Got it. Oh, I can rotate the stretcher, but I can't pick it up. What can I pick it up? A brick? Let's pick up a brick. Oh. I guess you gotta be a little bit more exact than that. Really? Do I need to throw something bigger? Okay, how do I... Pull toolbox. Okay, so when I tap it, it just moves in my direction? Okay. 
if I can't set off this mine, maybe I can... Nope. When did I last save? <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. It's over here now? Oh, hi. All right, all right. There were four, right? There were. Oh, the. Hmm. All right. So, um, let's save. So, will this barrel set off? Um, okay, yeah. So, this mine we were able to set off. With an object. And we found this. But for some reason, this other mine was not cooperating. Holy crap! What is the range on that thing? No other... Ex even those explosives I was using to blow up the... To blow up the walls. Even those didn't kill from that far let's try from behind this okay maybe cover works okay I'm not doing that again Okay, locked yellow door. Money. What card did I just show them? A safe room. You found your first safe room. I'm in the second level and I found my first safe room. You can use this room to customize and upgrade your weapons and eventually buy ammo and enter the safe room extension for additional facilities? Weapons. Holy crap. Okay. They're upgraded using weapon parts? Oh, they've given me some weapon parts and a yellow key. Okay. This, okay, this is a level of like... Modern game mechanics that I was not expecting from this. Okay, so tech module two required to open that, but... Okay, so how, how do I... Is this? Open web grid, weapon upgrade station. Okay, so... I've got... Okay, so these all require large amounts of weapon parts. And this one requires... Okay, there's two resources. There's weapon parts, which is the gear. And then there's that yellow circuit board. This one doesn't require any of that. Wait. Not applied while zooming? You can zoom with this gun? Okay, so it looks like the cricket is the only one I can actually upgrade because we've got, it only has the one upgrade I can do. Secondary fire. Zoom, zoom, traditional. Okay, so they can all zoom. And so, yeah, actually, a higher rate of fire on this would make sense. In order to gain access to a stronger upgrade, you'll have to locate a tech module. You can locate a new one at the safe room in the water treatment plant. Okay, so just as I progress through the game, my access to upgrades goes up. And the sound, I love how the soundtrack is like really powerful in there, but uh, kind of goes back to normal in here. Ooh. 
So I can now fire this more frequently. Okay, we're saving again. We're just going to obsessively save all the way through this. Oh, that sounds bad. Can I... Can I dodge under that? I don't know. So is water treatment... Is that a thing that's here? Or... Okay, this looks like... Okay, I can't go this way. Like, is the water treatment plant a part of this level, or is it part of some future level? What? was that? You know what? <laughs> I said I was going to stop in the middle of a level. I think that's what we should do. <laughs> because it's been nearly an hour, I've got stuff I need to get done. So... We're just going to have a really, really awkward time going through this game. <laughs> Where I'm just going to stop at random places. And I'm not going to have any kind of good way to bracket these levels. That's that's our plan right now. So, um, I realized at the end of the last level, I didn't really give any kind of summation of my feelings about this game. Um, at, the end of, I mean, at, the last, at the end of the last episode. So, like, I'm really, really enjoying this. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I really like old school shooters when they deliberately make them, uh, what am I trying to say? They deliberately make them like just very simple and straightforward. You're just running fast, you're blowing things up. Uh, it's really obvious how to progress. And you're just like, you're just doing the athletic activity of running through an old school sh shooter. And that, that's what I really liked about Proteus, for instance. Um, that's what I like a lot about a lot of the games that I play with the same motivation that I started playing this game. This one surprised me because Actually, the combat is really intimidating. I'm not just barreling through the combat and blowing up a million people. This isn't like a serious Sam game or something. Like, this game is serious about like, no, 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 you should be scared of these bad guys. They can murder you really fast. You have to think tactically. You have to like, you know, use cover. You have to be very clever. Uh, you have to like, you know, see them first, occupy them so they can't be shooting at you before you're shooting at them. That kind of thing. And then it's got a bunch of, pretty clever puzzles and at first when I just doesn't didn't even know what I was doing um, in the early level and I didn't know what to expect from the game I kept expecting it to be a really straightforward simple shooter I got kind of lost but now that like it's unlocked a bunch of my tools for me it's like showed me like oh hey you know you've got a map uh, you, you know and I've interacted with a bunch of different things and learned how the puzzles can work I feel like if I started over again I could probably do a much better job of finding secrets I could progress much more quickly I can understand the world I'm in a lot better um, so this game took some getting used to um, because it's just not like a lot of the stuff that's out there. It's not, it's not doing that really old school. Um, yeah, like what am I trying to say? Like, it's not doing the really old school Doom thing where they're trying to just keep it moving fast all the time. They're doing the, um, it's kind of later developments that 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 sort of the games that came right after Doom. I think you know Doom Two was a little bit more complicated. Duke Nukem had a lot of weird stuff in it. But this feels like it's beyond that. This feels like it really is kind of. It's not taking it as far as, like, System Shock or Deus Ex in terms of, like, telling an elaborate story and um, and making it about so more about something besides the shooting. It's still very about the shooting and the puzzles. Um, it's still very straightforward and simple, but there's something about it. It just feels like a more mature game than a lot of the other games that, uh, that, that it's, that it feel, that I assumed it was, it was, uh, you know, hewing the closest to. So I feel like it's actually, it weirdly it's found, it's doing something incredibly nostalgic, but it's found kind of its own unique slot in that place. It's hard to find a space for a game to be unique in a really crowded genre like this, but I feel like Salako's done it. So anyway, th there's my commentary. So there's a subscribe button. And uh, if I come back and play more of this on my channel, that will go there. Um, for right now, though, I'm going to take a break and go revise some documents because that's that's what my evening is about right now.